Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 17. Today we're going to go over how to count comments by users. WordPress already supplies a great function called count users posts, count user posts. We can see it in action here. Um, and it's showing us how many posts are by, again, in this case, the admin user or by our other users. Um, this is a theme unit test data from the theme reviewers. So what we want to do and what I've done already see we're getting a warning there because this is the second time I've gone through this is I've created a folder in WP content slash plugins called WP theme tutorial count user comments and then inside that folder I've created a file called WP theme tutorial count user comments dot PHP we're gonna start by pasting in our plugin header now, even though that file is there WordPress has no idea uh, about it or what it means unless until we have our plugin header in it's just our basic plugin stuff I've gone over it a couple times, so I'm not going to cover it today. You can see we now have count user comments in, and it's activated, but it does nothing because there's no actual code in it. So the other thing I've done, we have a call to our fatal error in the 2010 theme, which is what I'm using. I've added the function that we're going to build. It's echo theme TWP count user comments, and I actually want to change that to one since I know that I want to be querying for the user ID one to start with. So let's start by adding some of our code. Let's add our counting function to start with. So what we've done here is we're adding our counting function. This is more or less the count user posts function and we've modified the SQL query and added one other catch to it. So this or this function takes the user ID and with that it's going to run some SQL to figure out how many comments are by that user. If we look at the WordPress database, bring up SQL Pro, we go to screencast and to our comments table. You can see in our last rows that right here under user ID it actually stores our user ID. Now all these other comments were the the user was not registered and logged in at the same time or when they made the comments. That's why we don't see a user ID with it. So the first thing we do in our function is declare our global WPDB, which is our which accesses the WP database class um, and our default database connection to this site that we're actually working on. And we're going to define our count variable as equal to WPDB get var. And we're going to select and count by comment ID from WPDB comments. Now that's the comments table. And that comments table or that prefix for WPDB allows us to work with a different prefix on any database. The WPDB underscore that we saw from SQL Pro could be really anything. And it should not be WP underscore. The only reason it's okay for me to have that is because I'm working on my local database. So like I said, we're selecting from the comments table where user ID, which we saw, is equal to our variable where comment approved is one and comment type is not ping back or track back because they're also stored in the comments table and that will return to us all the comments and count them by the user ID supplied. Now we also want to handle if there's no comments and we want to supply something better than just a zero or at least I would like to by default. So here we go if count is equal to zero and a count equals apply filters and this allows uh, someone else to change the the text value and the text value is no comments by user to anything they want simply by calling this filter theme TWP no user comments and they could return any text to that filter and it would change it and then finally we return the count and again we're using a filter here the theme TWP get user comment count and we, we can filter the count and we have other arguments of user ID so if we refresh now see that we have two so I have two comments. If we also want to check it in against another user ID, I'm going to bring that window back over here. And if I go to two, you can see we have no comments by user. So right now we have a function that we can use on the front end, but we also want to add this to the WordPress admin. So the first thing we want to do is add our column to the WordPress admin. And for this, we're actually working with the WP list table class. Um, the WP list table class applies a bunch of filters for us. First filter we're gonna work with is 
really manage oh, var columns. Since in our case we want to add it to the users page, you see users.php, we make it manage users columns. And then we return to that filter our function of theme t wp add comment admin column. And this gives us one uh, variable of columns, or it's one array. And we use array merge to merge in our new uh, column. It's named comment count by user, and it's going to display as comment count. So if we save that and refresh our users table, you can see we have comment count has showed up on our far end, but we don't actually have any data in it. So that simply just gives our comment header or our, our column header. What we need to do now is start to return some data to it. And we're doing that with our final function of the day. This is again, same type of filter as the last one I mentioned. Manage var custom column. In our case, since we want to do the users, we're doing manage users custom column. And it supplies three things to us. It supplies the custom column, column name, and user ID. Uh, the custom column is the name of the custom column. The column name is the column we are currently on, and the user ID is the user ID we're currently working through. So the WP list table is iterating through each column and through each uh, user as it does this, which is why we're getting all this different information. We're going to use a switch statement on column name, and we're going to call it against our comment count by user. And to that, we're simply going to return the function that we wrote earlier that counts comment by user. And we're going to supply it with the user ID, and then we break out of it. And you can see here, when we refresh, we have two comments for the admin of user ID 1, and no comments by anyone else. And that's basically it. We now have a plugin that counts user comments and provides the function to do that, and it also adds that to the WordPress admin. Now, if you actually go look at the GitHub repository, I've got it up for you to download. I click on our WP theme T uh, file. See, I actually have a bunch of extra code at the top. This is the GitHub plugin updater, which I blogged about and did a screencast on uh, a couple months back. There'll be a link to that in the show notes for you to add uh, GitHub plugin updates to any plugin you have, and it'll update right inside WordPress just like any other plugin would. You can also simply download this plugin by clicking zip here or it'll actually be in the show notes as well, where you can download the plugin, install it, and then any further updates uh, I make to it in the future, you will just automatically update inside WordPress. Thanks for watching WP Theme Tutorial, episode 17.